Yo, what up guys, Casper here, and uh, just want to let you know that my screen flow has been having problems, and which is why I'm re-uploading the video for the third time. I've been having whatever issues, render issues, and all that other stuff. So if, you are, if you've already seen it, just leave a like or something like that. And uh, remember, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. What up guys, Casper here, and today I'm doing a softbox tutorial in Cinema 4D R13 so without any further ado we shall get started so a lot of you probably don't know what softbox is and those of you do yeah it's just a pretty much a source of light like in a uh, camera studio if they they have the other lights coming in on you just so that uh, you know it brightens up the scene all that stuff it's pretty much an alternative to lights to give it more, a more professional look uh, for what you're doing. But anyway, we're gonna start off with making the, uh, squarish one. So, I'm going to get, in my splines, I'm gonna get three rectangles. Rectangles, alright. Now, I'm going to name the front one, or the first one, front. Second one, middle. Third one, back. Okay. So, now what we want to do, oh, still getting used to this uh, rotation, um, we want to put the back one in the back, obviously, middle one in the middle, like we, like we should, and then the front stays there. So we're going to resize the front one to about 525 by 525. Um, doesn't really matter the numbers as long as it comes out the certain way that you want. Keep the middle one the same. Back one, we're going to change that to about 60. And 60 again. So we're going to keep them squares here. Now we're going to go into the NURBS tab and use a Luft NURBS. Drag them in. And you got a softbox right now. And uh, obviously you can play around with it to get it to the perfect size. You can actually do another back. Drag it in. And then probably make it smaller so I could just... Oh, three, and three, and then it just has like a little pinched edge at the end. Um, obviously that's really up to you, so anyway, we got that. So we want to make sure that we keep our things numbered, um, that way, or uh, rename them, that way you don't get confused with them, because it's very helpful. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to go into the primitive objects and get a plane so we're gonna resize that to the size of our front box so we're gonna resize it to 525 by 525 now we're gonna rotate it and hold shift for snapping to enable snapping or you can push this button right here and it'll just oh yeah see it snaps a little bit but I don't need it like that All right. So now that's like that, we want to move it out a tiny bit. Alright. Well, alright. And now, since we have the plane, we want to put that... Actually, click on your plane, hold shift, and click on your loft nerves, and do Alt-G to group. put them in a group. Name it Softbox. Okay. Now we're going to go into the plane. We're going to make a new material. Going to uncheck color and specular check luminance and under texture go to gradient click on the gradient and now put the black to the furthest right and then click around there so you can get like a gray change this to 2d circular let's see let's change the color to like a gray Uh, that should be good. Alright, so now that we got that, you can also do any other of these things if you want, but it really wouldn't be good. So I'm going to keep it like that. Now that we got the luminance, we can put it on our plane. And our softbox, we can make that black, so I'll make a new material. Um, I'm going to uncheck specular for this one, because we don't really need it seen, and it doesn't really look good. You know what? I'm just going to check it. Doesn't really matter. You can do whatever. Uh, just drag it on the loft nerves. If you render it out, 
Um, yeah, I have ambient occlusion and global illumination on, so that's probably why it's taking a while. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, you can see as it starts to render, you got the, the gradient right there, but you can't really see the black because, obviously, it's black. <laughs> so, alright, now what you want to get is you want to go into your lights and get an area light. And you want to drag that into your softbox, your null object. You want to go to general. Or, where is it? Yep, details actually. Then you want to resize the X and the Y to whatever your front uh, spline was. So in this case, 525. Go back here, 525 by 525. Okay, now we click on the light, drag it out a little bit more. Now, if you can see, the light is out a lot more ish than the plane was. So that's okay. Now we want to right click on the softbox, go to Cinema 4D tags, add a compositing tag, and also a target tag. Let's see if there's anything else I can put. Uh, display, I don't really know. Nah, it's fine. I don't really need that. Yep, so these are the two main tags. You can, obviously, if you haven't used a target tag, you can just say use a cube over here. And, um, go back into that. If you wanted to target the cube, you could just drag that in there. So, it will actually do that. If you just move the cube and see it does all this fancy stuff. So, um, let's check the UP vector. And, yeah. So, anyway, you don't really need to use a target if you don't want to, but... Um, I sometimes enjoy it. It's kind of fun the way you can do things in Cinema 4D. All right, there we go. So I actually got rid of the. Uh, you know what? I'll undo the un. Oh, whoops. Huh? Cinema 4D tags. Yada yada. Target. Sorry guys, I accidentally deleted uh, the things by going back. All right, in the compositing tag, if you want the uh, softbox to actually make light but not be seen in the scene. You want to click on your compositing tag and scene by camera, you want to turn that off. If you want shadows from your softbox, you can click into your softbox, go to your, actually rename the Lothnerb's body if you want. Uh, go in your light and then in general you can do shadow, soft maps, and that'll be good. Alright, so now that we got that, we got pretty much our softbox and you know, that's a pretty good setup. Remember, if you want to move it, click on the null object first so it moves everything. And let's say we want to do an array of these. Make an array object. Drag the softbox in the array. Now, it's going to look kind of weird at first, so you want to up the radius. And right here, we got something pretty cool going on. So, I'm still trying to get used to these controls of Cinema 4D. R13, they're weird. <laughs> um, you can also rotate them. Actually, now I'm trying to think how I could rotate them in. Uh, nope. And it's not important anyway. Um, yeah, I'm really, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, I'm going to give up on that. Uh, yeah, you can just say, let's put an object on the inside, let's do a sphere, and on the sphere, we'll just move it back a little bit, make sure it's centered up, alright, now on the sphere we can make a little material to show, I'm going to use material presets, it's a cool clearish material. So I'm going to do this without global illumination to see quick render. Render region. It'll take a little bit. Um, actually, yeah, I'll do a global illumination just so you guys can actually see it. So this might take a tiny bit of time. So judging on how long it takes, I might just stop the video and then come back when it's done. So, yeah. Alright guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, this is our final product. 
Um, as you can notice, the sphere has the reflections of the soft boxes, but yet they're not seen because of the compositing tag. Um, I think that this is cheaper than buying a light kit, doing it yourself, especially with the tutorial readily available. Um, you can also do things such as, uh, here, let's see. You can do things such as an array of lights, which is pretty simple. Just do an array, drag your light in. It's uh, circular now, you just want to adjust the intensity if you want. And um, make the array bigger. Put it up. Add some more copies and whatnot. Render it again. And once again, you have another quick lighting option so yeah um thanks for watching this tutorial on soft boxes and such comment rate subscribe like the video for cinema 4d r13 and uh, it also helps my channel grow and i really do appreciate it and um thank you for watching guys and have a wonderful day